Hey YouTube, I am back with a, another video. I've been thinking, what can I do for my video this week? And, you know, there was so much to go over. There's crime within the black community. There's crime, uh, hate crimes towards the black community. Um, there's so much uh to talk about but i said there's something i really need to talk about and i had i was discussing this with a friend over the weekend and i said yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do this video and and this video is about women in the black community being held accountable in held accountable in regards to broken families in the black community and there's so much talk with how men should um, be leaders and be held accountable. And there's so much um, talk about how men are this and men are that and blase, blase, blase. I didn't really come across any videos where women need to be held accountable. And what I mean by that is we know 70% of black women are having children out of wedlock. And this has nothing to do with how uh, men may be there for their children, even though they, they may just be cohabitating instead of married. This is beyond that. This is prior to children um, really being in the families. But I brought up that statistics to say it shows that women need to be held accountable of who they let in their hearts and in between their legs. Men, if you're listening, it's time for you to take control again because this feminist movement is not for black women. If you hear me, women, this movement is not for us. We are designed to be a helpmate for our men and we need to get back to the point of respecting our black men. We know in the world out there, no one is respecting them. The least they could do is come home and have some respect. And... What I mean by that is we need to know our roles and we need to play them. We do. We need to know what role we play and know what role they play. There can't be two leaders in the household. There can only be one. There's only one designed to be a leader. And that's the man. So if you know, if you knew that, you wouldn't be having homes where there's men not there. We're not equal to men. I want to repeat that. We are not equal to men. Now I want to break that down. We are equal in value, but we're not equal in role. Uh, you know, maybe I am a little traditional. I think it's good to have strong women, but I think we've lost the understanding of what strong women really is. A strong woman can be a fighter. She can be independent. I don't think a woman should be so independent that she doesn't need a man. Thinking in terms of a household, um, a man is designed to lead. And we as women can't try to have that same level of leadership. No, we have a role to play. And when we're out of that pot, when we're out of pocket, when we're out of that role, I think it is a man's role to check us. So that whole be seen and not heard, I'm not talking about that. Um, cause I, I, I don't think that, I think it should be, we just know the level of, res we need to have a certain level of respect for men. And again, I'm talking about the black community because I'm not in any other community, so I don't care what these other people do. But I do think in the black community, we need to learn to respect men. Men are designed to protect, to procreate and create, um, a legacy and to um, provide. So if you have a man who can provide um, for you and you're living comfortably, like I, I live in a house, I'm, I live, we live, our family lives comfortably and, and comfortably, I think some people get that mixed up. If you can live decent and, and be content, that man 
deserves utmost respect because you got to think of all the hell this person, this, this man, this husband of yours catches when he leaves out this house. The last thing he needs is inside the house. Once I change me, instead of worrying about him and what he doesn't do, what I don't like, blah, blah, blah. And I started changing my attitude towards him. And I'm not saying like we argued or anything, but once I just changed my perspective, once I realized, you know, he catches hell at work and everywhere else, if I can give him utmost respect and he feels it, he's going to know and he's going to want to make a change. And I did that and he tried so hard to make it work. I didn't have to lift a finger for anything, even in my role as a wife, my role as a mother. So I think that once we get to the point where we start treating our men as leaders and as kings, doing our part, they will become those things. We as women, if we say that we want leaders and we want the right man, then we need to be making sure they are leaders. Um, vet, vet the person before you get them. We should be having leaders, um, even teaching our sons to be leaders and have leadership attitude. And then if we... And if we say we want a leader and we want a good man, we can't be mad when they check us like a leader should. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys a video because every now and then a woman, if you're a woman, you know, women can be petty, can be manipulative, conniving. And I'm not saying every woman's like this in every aspect, but women have the capability of being those things. And you try hard to be um, that good woman and talk to the king in him which means you can't get on his level. Um, so like if he's upset, you can't be bucking at him like a man and yelling and cursing him out and rolling the head and all of that. Like, know your role. If you treat and talk to him like a king, like a leader, you'll realize and you'll see He's going to feel that level of respect and want to and want to live up to it. He's going to want to live up to it. Um, check out this video. I'm a huge fan. Anybody who knows me, I'm a huge fan of A Different World. Whitley was checked by Dwayne. I'm going to go ahead and roll that clip. Listen to it. It's your friend. I shouldn't have to blackmail you to help him. You don't listen. You are my woman, and I love you, but if you ever tell me that you are not speaking to me for a week again, I will drop you like a bad habit with you. <laughs> ah. Oh, and you know something? I'm not through. I was a serious sports fan before I met you. You knew that then, and you know it now, so please spare me those little 10-minute drop form every time I want to go to a game, okay? I love it when you take charge, David. <laughs> Yes, you are, and don't you ever forget it. I won't forget it. Ron! Oh, forget him. I didn't finish telling you the plan. You know, I got plans of my own. <laughs> okay, so you saw how Dwayne checked Whitley. Women, good women, love to be checked when they need to. Like, they love... I won't say necessarily they love to be checked. They love a good, they love a leader when they see one. And if you can find a guy who's going to check you and with respect, that's a good man. Now, most people think that they got to slap you around a few times to respect you. No. See, if a, if a real man knew, his goal, his basic um, thing to be a man is to provide and protect. If you slapping her around, you violated one of those things. You violated the protection and security that you provide for her because now she has to seek someone else to give her the protection she needs to protect herself from you. She needs to know that she's safe in your arms, in your hands at all times. You can't violate that. So you have to learn how to respect her without doing that. And if when you speak, she can't respect that, then she's not the one.
women women get to the point of we are not equal you know the commercial um anything you can do i can do better why are women i i never thought about it i i never thought about it when you watch the commercial you just think oh okay well you you know whatever you can do i can do better it's it's, it's that commercial where women women are seeing what you can do i can do better you know than a man why are we trying to be better than a man why same thing with um single women and they want father's day cards why stop trying to play the role of a man a mother is a mother a father is a father let the man be the father let him be who he said that see and that's the thing i don't even know if i hear that outside of the black community father's day cards for for women you know you can have all the Derek Jacksons of the world. You can have this Prince Charming. You can have everything. But until you as a woman hold yourself accountable of making sure you vet the right leader that you want to be over your life, over your household, over your children. Like even if you don't have children, just to think this the man that you want leading you in your household. If you can't work, you know, start, you know, everyone says they want this kind of guy, but they want him when he's already on that level. If you can't get on the base level um, and finding the leadership within that person that you want to be with, if you don't see that that is the person that's destined to be the leader over you and your household, that's not the person for you. I think it's up for women to hold themselves accountable of who they vet, who they allow in their hearts, let in their pants. And, and once we do that, and once we expect a leader and men start holding themselves accountable of being the leader and then us women, again, learning to allow men to lead. And again, and I'm saying men, not boys, not immature people, like men. If we have a man and we want him to lead, we need to let him lead. So yes, I'm for being traditional. And if we get to the point where we say we value family enough and we um, value um, our black men and we start treating each other better, which means we'll start producing children into a family instead of out of wedlock because now we value each other enough to create a union and a real um household then we will get better i think the difference between then you know back then and now is family families are more broken now than they were before families were a strong unit before and when we can get back to having strong family units we could start helping the black community that's what we can do tell me if men held themselves accountable accountable and women us as women held ourselves accountable, do you think we are a step forward in the black um, community as far as fixing the dysfunction within the families in the black community? Tell me what you think. Comment, subscribe, and hit the like button. Peace and love.